อัฟริกาเงาคืออไปเตอไปเนี่ยเนาะอัฟริกาเงาคือว่าอกองจีนเนี่ยเนาะโหตาป่องลงเลยเนี่ยเราเสียเลยจ้ะเราตรุงอา
ตรุรุเยยินเนมาพยาเตยสวยตัวมานิพพานชิสัยอาจิลามะอัตติจันนิจจะกะดอตรุรุเรมาโหยันตุโกยันตุมาอันทะเรอะเรมันขวัญจา
Tonight, we were astonished by the amount of money and donations collected at the end of the sermon. We consider 969 as the cosmological opposite of 786 that represents for Muslims in the name of Allah, the most clement and merciful. The goal of 969 is to bring together the Burmese Buddhists, founders of the Burmese nation. With the Buddhists, count for more than 90% of Burma's population, a country with some 135 ethnicities and four religions. Did you know Muslims represent just 4% of the population? ကိုနာအငြိမ်းစားယူသွားတဲ့ခါရဆောက်နေမပြေဘူး <laughs> เอ่อกวยวัตตาတော့ဘူးဝတုံးကတော့တုံးလဘဆိုခန္ဓာဝတ်တော့ <laughs> ไอ้มาบ่าวก็ลายอยู่อ่ะอยู่สิตรงนี้มุสลิมอยู่อ่ะเล็บบันลูกอ่ะไอ้เล็บบันอยู่อ่ะอีเอ๊ะปะวนเ
Giratu goes to Mandalay and settles at the Masoyeyin Monastery. He will always stay in touch with his former monastery in Kyokse. ตอนเสร็จมาเสียเนาะอยู่เนาะส่งก้มมาบัวเนาะจองได้ก็จุยดาวส่งขันยาได้ไม่เลยสะใจมันเลยอยากจะส่งขันอ่ะส่งขันเ
ဒီနိုင်ငံနေမှာတယ်မဟုတ်တော့ပဲနိုင်ငံရတွေသွားလိုက်တော့ဒီတရားဘုရားတရားလုံးတွေတွေ့ထင်သွားရင်လမ်း
Someone told me this book, in fear of our race disappearing, has inspired all the nationalist pamphlets and anti-Muslim tracts in our country. At the start of 2003, even though they were banned, these were openly distributed in the markets of Kyokse. ဒီတာကအဲ့ဆယ်လာပိုင်းစကိုယနေ့ရဆပြေတာလေနှထောင်သုံးဆယ်လာပိုင်းစကိုယနေ့ဒီမစ္စလင်နေမရှို့ခါ
ကိုယမေကဖြစ်ပြီးတယ်ဖြစ်ပြီးတယ်ဖြစ်ပြီးတယ်ကိုယမေကသူလာဟိုဆရာတော်ဘာစားချင်းတယ်ပေါ့အ
Los sándwiches y me ya que daba. Ana venía o lo come. Like, ¿qué me dijo no? ¿Qué me dijo la? Me chinta otro va. Tú a la cama de. Ana venía tras y fue me a la cama, ¿no? Cuando no te atrevo, el otro día voy a aprender a decir. ตัวนี้ทั้งยันลูกสาวเนี่ยอุ้งเส้นนี้ตั้งอารอยเปย์พันเปย์เยอะสุดท้องไม่กูอุ้งเส้นนี้เดี๋ยวหน้าพันเน
エリティラはパーナーを言いますが、そういうに大抵。カラダジジョンジュニアメ。シラマ。アイセムウェイウェイトウェイ。タマハリクチュニアメ。デビロタラヤ。でもビジュアルやすいもんやっぱりや。でもあれが今、パナヤメラウソン。カラオケマイ、カラオケガレーシュラウ。サーディナーティ、フォレッチャーワンウシュラウ。ก็ชอบกูอ่ะเปลี่ยนไปแล้วโอ้โหแล้วทอนทอนอะไรใครจะรู้กูชอบกูอ่ะเปลี่ยนไปแล้วโอ้โหแล้วทอนทอนอะไ
ตัวเราเนี่ยเอาใส่ใหญ่เลยว่าอย่างนี้เนาะอะไรชุบขึ้นไปเนาะพอตัดไว้แล้วไอ้เจ้าเลี้ยงเนี่ยเนาะโลก
can pity, yeah, you can't do it all. But I like it, you like it. Hello, can I go on piano? I love TV Roma, Tangaria, the Cago and Social Roma, so they are the one of you. Which I'll go a quick one. Sons and daughters of Arakan. You must completely refrain from buying or selling to Kalars. You must also stop all communication or friendship with Kalars. Uh, I recall uh, sitting and talking with a young monk in Rakhine State in 2012. Uh, it was the, he was writing the very first pamphlet calling upon the population to um, economically, politically, socially exclude Muslims. And he told us that the Muslims posed a threat to his culture. He told us that the Muslims posed a threat to his country, um, and that uh, he felt as though all of the Muslims in Rakhine State were essentially uh, terrorist uh, or members of terrorist organizations. <laughs> We can live with many kinds of people, with everybody from all over the world. But the Muslim people from here are like animals. They are trying to violent. They are trying to attack. To the first wave of violence, we were documenting how Buddhist communities throughout Rakhine State were essentially organizing themselves. So over several months, they're having these large town square style meetings in Ratedong Township, huge number of people got together, and they um, and they were and they were essentially setting forth a platform for ethnic cleansing. We call for the creation of monks' militias in the villages, so as to ensure security and discipline. We demand the sympathizers of the Bengali Kalar be considered traitors to the nation and their identities posted in each village. We support the request by President Utensign asking the United Nations to take care of the Bengali on Burmese soil until another country accepts them. We were trying to raise alarm bells at the time. Um, we were trying to meet with the diplomatic community, uh, UN offices and, 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 and others speaking with the news media uh, that there would be a significant event uh, and that we we're very concerned there'd be more violence. And sure enough, in October 2012, another uh, much more coordinated wave of violence struck. This time it was violence in 14 of 17 townships in Rakhine State. <laughs> At the Rattedown meeting, a decision was taken to displace the Rohingya villages away from the main roads. Essentially what was happening was uh, communities were coming in, setting fire to Muslim homes, and then when Muslims, uh, Rohingya in most cases, would attempt to put those fires out, police and other state security forces essentially stood by and watched it happen. Come 
The Rakhine community have all power, all institutions holding by the Rakhine people. They want to make Rohingya people more delivery. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is, I think, one, one of the most uh, profound things about uh, people alleging that Rohingya are burning down their own homes is that in many cases they actually believe it. Um, it's, not just, uh, it's not just a rhetoric that they're pronouncing or spreading. In many cases, people are told this and they genuinely believe it. This second wave of violence struck. It resulted in now more than 140,000 people confined into more than 40 internment camps. Before 1962, we have a voting right. Some people from Rohingya, they also people elected as a parliamentarian. And then we have opportunity for the job. Our people serve in the military, uh, serve in the police department, immigration department, the teachers and the doctors. We are also part of the government services. Whatever we are, first of all, we are human beings. It is the responsibility of the national government. They have a responsibility to protect people's rights. Rohingya are the people who are living in the world. They are living in the D'après leurs témoignages, rien ne va plus en Arakan. Près de 200 000 réfugiés birmans ont déjà franchi cette rivière qui sépare les deux pays. Ils sont issus de la minorité ethnique des Rohingyas, qui représente près d'un million et demi d'habitants. En fait, la situation a commencé à se dégrader en février dernier, lorsque les Birmans ont lancé en Arakan, sous le prétexte d'un contrôle de nationalité, l'opération Dragon. Rapidement, les Rohingyas ont compris qu'ils étaient la cible unique de cette opération. L'opération Dragon est-elle menée par les autorités birmanes Oui, c'est une opération officielle. La police birmane, l'armée et l'immigration birmane y participent. Parfois, les MOG, c'est-à-dire les non-musulmans, les aident. Avez-vous vu des gens torturés ou violentés Oui, j'en ai vu beaucoup. D'abord, ils ont violé toutes les femmes, les jeunes et les vieilles, nos sœurs et nos mères. Oui, ma sœur aussi a été violée par des soldats birmans. Dans ce camp, les femmes violées sont très nombreuses. 
C'est comme les nazis et Hitler. Vous connaissez les nazis et Hitler en Allemagne. Les Rohingyas sont torturés comme les nazis le faisaient. Dans les camps, les réfugiés se réunissent cinq fois par jour pour la prière. De ce côté-là, au moins, ils ne seront pas inquiétés, car le Bangladesh est sans doute l'état le plus religieux du monde musulman. Comment l'un des pays les plus pauvres du monde pouvait-il accueillir des milliers d'affamés supplémentaires Le Bangladesh exige que tous ces malheureux soient rapatriés le plus vite possible en Birmanie. Mais quelle sera la réponse des Birmans Elle sera négative si les réfugiés qui prétendent que l'on a trouvé du pétrole en Arakan nous ont dit la vérité. Car alors ce génocide s'expliquerait enfin, dépasserait la simple rivalité religieuse bouddhiste musulmane. Si les gisements de pétrole de Kondung, de Ratidung Tongchif existent bel et bien et sont aussi importants qu'on le prétend, les Birmans chassent les musulmans encore majoritaires en Arakan pour s'assurer un contrôle définitif sur la région, devenue stratégiquement importante pour l'économie du pays. That time, Ziaur Rahman was the president of Bangladesh and uh, he called the Myanmar government to take the people back to the country. This was uh, a kind of, you know, a setback for the government because they cannot uh, accomplish their policy. And then they thought, because those people were carrying the national identification card, so there's the reason they have to take back those people. So, and then introduce 1982 citizenship law because they want people to exclude from the citizenship. La ley de ciudadanía, lo curioso es que determina que el gobierno puede decidir qué es un grupo, qué, qué razas son indígenas y, y, y qué razas no. Y yo me acuerdo una vez estuve con, con un líder eh, nacionalista aracanés eh, y me dijo, mira Carlos, eh, Nosotros no podemos exterminar a los bengalíes, él los llamaba bengalíes, a los rohingya. No podemos exterminarlos, no podemos expulsarlos, son demasiados, pero tampoco podemos vivir con ellos. take evil lightly by saying it will never touch me. Even a bowl of water fills up eventually with drops of rainwater. And so the innocent one, absorbing a drop at a time, can end up filled with evil. <laughs> ဟောဒီကတော့ပလီဆိုတာဥယျဉ်တို့ဖို့ရင်ရောင်းတယ်လို့အရာတရားလုပ်တဲ့ဌာနမဟုတ်ဒီမွစ္စလစ်မဟု
ဒါကဥယျာဉ်တို့ကမစလင်နေရဲ့ချီရာတွေကိုအကြမ်းစီတွေကိုသိလို့အဲ့ဒီအဖြေကိုရရှိတာဟုတ်ဒီကဲ့
After this sermon in Mektila, a city 30% Muslim, pamphlets started to appear on the markets. Addressed to the head monk of the town of Mektila. We write to inform you about Burmese Buddhists who are living in terror. Some Kalars using Saudi Arabian money intended for mosques are buying with incredible sums of money under Burmese names, land, farms, and houses in and out of the city. We are terrified when we see a large group of Kalars going to the mosque every day. We would therefore like to appeal to the monks for help to stop corruption. Sign, Buddhists who feel abandoned, city of Meitila. Note, this letter is not intended to create riots or political instability. It is distributed so that the love of the nation and the religion may live for a long time. ลำนี้ไม่ใช่มีกีฬาคอมเมนต์โซ่คือมีสิ่งเหล่านี้ในอนาคตเนี่ยคือสิ่งที่เราต้องการที่จะทำให้เกิดความสุขให้เกิดความ
ไอ้ดีกรุงมีมะกูกะมะกูซะอ่องเยไอ้ดีลาเมียวดีเมียวดาเนี่ยอธิมนายอ่องเยอ้าวลูกอู้ตุ้นเนี่ยอู้ปู
A few months after Mithila and the string of riots that followed, the state Shanga, the Council of 52 Monks, voted to ban the 969 movement and the use of the Buddhist flag as a background for its symbol. Immediately, Viratu set up a new organization, Mabata, Association for Race and Religion. ตาวยูเรปอยซีตาวยูผิดสนามมาบ่าซะบ่อล่ะได้ขายแล้วกะลากะบ่มาโซกาบีเซมาบ่าซะอภวยอ่ะนี่ตาวยูผิดเสียแ
Tegelu di mitem aja lah. The rape of Miso So on the 28th of June 2014 by the bosses of Café Son is not only a criminal offence, but it is also intended to spark violence in our country. Nobody checked this information. It was false. Too late. The violence began almost immediately the next day. Ari mazu da be fo si ya ma la yao ma ta si bi ne ya ne lu mu fo si ya o ne ga no zu a cha da de lu yo yi ya le ma lu ye ya ya me ji ni ya o a la ne phom mo no twa bi do ma di a a ne ya jo long ne twa bi do ma ya lu mo ne nya di di ya ma la be ai ma lu yi di cha bi do ya ne da da ri ya bi do ga si ya pro mi sa o ตัวนี้เนี่ยเราก็ลงมาเลยนะที่จะเลยตัวนี้เนี่ยเราก็ลงมาเลยนะที่จะเลยตัวนี้เนี่ยเราก็ลงมาเลยนะที่จะเลย
could be viewed as one of the indicators of backtracking in the political reform process. <laughs> such a speech, we, the other Buddhists, could have set in motion a trial against Viratu and jailed him for inciting hatred. But before that, Mabata had to be silenced. This was done. On the 31st of August 2016, in the capital, we began negotiations with the leaders of all ethnic insurgencies to obtain a stable peace. Let's hope that the military, with whom she is sharing power, are still with us. Too late. On the 8th of October 2016, the Rohingyas finally declared an insurgency. There is nothing to stop the military from doing what they have always done. Operation Dragon is repeating itself, this time having repercussions outside our borders. <laughs> hatred will never put an end to hatred. Only love can do that. This is the ancient and eternal law.